We have assembled a real high voltage installation. We used for microwave transformers. And now we will check what this arc is capable of. Let's eat apples? Sure, come on. I have an idea guys, what will happen if this high voltage is applied to the apple? Will it conduct current or not? Will it survive this kind of abuse or not? Now we will see it. I put an apple on this neutral wire. Like this. By the tail of an apple. <laughs> Holy moly. What was it? What happened? I almost choked on an apple. It's pissed off. You heard? There was such a sound. But why is it so angry? Turn it on. Oh, holy molly! Did you see that? What happened? The wand is gone. Did it burn down? But why is this so? Let's touch the apple directly. Gas is coming out of this. It's straight up repulsed. Look, gases are coming out of this. Saw, so, it puffs. Holy moly! Look, you burned a hole. Yes. I didn't know that high voltage causes gas from an apple. If you don't believe me, then look here. It heats up instantly. Look, it's withered. Look at it, you see? It explodes and something flies out of it. Do you see? Smells like Charlotte. Turn it off. Yes, it smells like apple pie, oddly enough. But why does it behave so inappropriately? From this something shoots, some kind of jet. Look what happened to the apple. Look, there are wounds on this. Oh no. But it didn't burn, it just explodes, you know? But why? Why is this happening? Now the apple looks like the moon. I thought there would be an arc here. It is even possible that the arc will be smaller due to the fact that not one center of contact but a whole apple. I didn't think there would be such an effect. As if an apple starts to break out from the inside. But what about the rest of the fruits? Imagine what would happen if someone got electrocuted. I think a lot of steam will come out later. 8 kilovolts. This is instant death. There is little current. I think that if we were outside, we could burn it down completely. Down to the ashes. What it is? Is that a hairy strawberry? Have you seen hairy strawberries? It's a fish, right? No, this is such a local fruit. Write in the comments, you know what it is. But we will now try to fry it at a high voltage. I'm scared. String it. To our very dangerous high voltage installation. Like this. Pasha, do you want an apple? Sure. By the way, what does it taste like? Baked? A little bit. With sticker. Did you eat with the sticker? Yes, a little. <laughs> Turn it on. Well, what will happen? What will happen to this hairy fruit? If only it didn't explode. Please, I can already smell it. Did you see what a huge arc was spinning? Do it again. Wow! But why? With an apple it was a completely different effect. Look! It's so cool! Let's do a slow-mo. Where is our fire extinguisher? Well, it should have been near the entrance. We have a lot of sand under our house. It smells like spruce. The smell of burning. Shall we try again? The main thing now is not to get poisoned by this. It's such a huge spin. I'm scared. Turn it off. Strange fruit. Don't you want to try it? So guys. 
This is a special method of preparing exotic fruits. Never mind. It's all right. That's how it was intended. Is it on fire here? An electrode was inserted there. Open it. It's hot. Look, guys. What it is. Guys, everything is warming up in a second. Inside is an egg. Do you want to try it? This is an egg. No. It smells pretty bad. At the very least, I don't want to try it since we stuck some wires in there and it doesn't look good. This is such a weird setup. Imagine, it's the opposite of a microwave. Fruits are warmed up in a few seconds. Do you want to try the egg? No, it just has a metallic smell. Now it's radioactive. Don't know, but if you try a little, nothing will happen. It's such a bummer. It's fierce. What does that remind you of? It was disgusting even before electricity. <laughs> really? Can you write a will first? Guys, we got one very rare fruit. It's called the dragon eye. And now we'll cut it in half to see what's inside. And heat it up with our modified microwave. Wow! Look, what's inside? Wow. It's very tasty. Maybe it's better if we eat it? Well. Wow. Why is it so evil? Let's touch here. Have you seen this color? It is so beautiful. Look, you've seen? Such a juicy arc, and have you seen how the seeds glow inside? They burst. Turn off the voltage. Only the seeds burn out. Yes. And it looks very pretty when they burn out. And they rumble. They clap like this. So let's try slow mo. Did you see the table around that thing start to smoke? Are the seeds flying? It stinks so much. It smells strongly of burnt seeds in here. They fly out and smoke. At first I did not understand. I thought that the table was smoking. Imagine. Each fruit behaves differently under high voltage. Arc of different color and reaction of different color. I wonder how all the surrounding objects under high voltage will behave. We still have durian. Oh no! Durian is the most dangerous fruit. It is prohibited in some places. Just don't be stupid. No wonder we keep it outside. Did you go for the durian? Can we do it outside? It's so stinky. Holy moly! How about neighbors? The smell will stay here for two years. What if the neighbors complain? I think it's better than if everything here stinks of durian. I think the neighbors will leave after that. Deadly trick. Now we're going to shock. This is the most dangerous fruit called durian. Oh, it's prickly. I think it will stink a lot. So we want to try quite a bit. Sergey has already defended himself. Guys, this stinks just unreal. The smell is already there, and it's very strong. What does it look like? Oh no, this, this is terrible. Not really, a very pleasant smell. Good smell. If we heat it up, it's going to be very uncool. Will it explode? I hope so. Why is the newspaper in Korean? North Korean? Kim Jenun as a child? It's either someone from parliament or some K-pop group. Here's the dangerous fruit. Folks, this is very dangerous. Put this on the electrode. It looks like this. It is very prickly. Feel it. Just very prickly. Fine but not very prickly. Can we cut it? Or just like that? Let's do this first, and then the rest. Yeah, then we'll wad it up. Pasha, is it very prickly? Sure. I was joking when I said it wasn't prickly. For a long time in the news, we were called rednecks from Luhansk.
Rednecks from Lugansk delighted internet users with unique experiences with electricity. Amateur physicists posted a video called What a Microwave is Capable of on the Internet. High voltage voltage was used in order to obtain electrical discharges of unusual shape and texture in the form of a fiery arc. What are you doing in the country? Write in the comments. But we will continue to experiment with electricity. There is a contact. I think that the wand will be incinerated first. At least that was the case with other fruits. There is already something below. Look! It's smoking from below. But why is it smoking from below? The smell is terrible. Is it terrible? Very terrible smell. Table is stinks too. But nothing else happens for some reason. But the sound is very loud. Now we'll cut it in half. Feel the wire get hot? Yes, very much. Let it cool down. Here you can see it. Yes, it sagged like snot. Is it hot? Yes, it's totally hot. Wow, look what holes. Look at this wand. It was very noisy, but didn't explode. It feels like gas is escaping here too. Just like an apple. It smells like burning. Look. There's a puddle under it. We ruined the table with this. Need to cool down? The transformers are hot. It's all because of the durian. 57? Wow. Try the same with the neighbor. 51. But this one? 53. And this one? This one is the hottest. Even 60. I think we need to take a break for a while to let it cool down. And later we will continue to experiment. I'm afraid something might burn. But we still have a lot of experiments ahead. We want to conduct a deadly experiment. Make an arc. Where do you think? Into the sea. What will happen? Will the water glow? We decided to ground this installation, it will give us more opportunities. To do this, we connected to the transformer case, through the grounding of the carrier, and now we will stick the other end of the carrier into the ground, right under the cottage. Now a very strange experiment is going on. We want to check, in general, normal grounding or not and try to shock the tile. It seems to me that there is no land here. The house is on concrete piles. Concrete is a poor conductor of electricity. Our voltage is very low, it is 8 kilovolts. Therefore, the fact that we grounded it, I think that we will not succeed in sparking. But I think differently. I'm scared. Come on. Only briefly. Nothing. And you said that nothing would happen. Have you seen that? Wow. I'm shocked. It explodes. What's happening? I'm scared. It won't explode. Try else. There's a problem. Enough. Turn it off. Stop. Guys, can you imagine, after such experiments, a worm crawled out of the tile? The method for the extraction of earthworms is working. And if 8 kilovolts were passed through your house, I think you would also get out. Imagine, these worms came out right through the tile. They don't like tension at all. Now we will try what will happen if we apply high voltage to the floor. Wooden floor. Are you ready? Start faster. Wait. Turn it off. Guys, we did something wrong. Knocked out the electricity? There is a light on in the street. You know? Yes, because we applied electricity to the soil. It's not just us. It does not help? Maybe it's worth waiting a bit? 
Is there a button there? Fine. Maybe because we did it on the ground, it turned off. One of them started sparking very violently, but I didn't tell you. Is this one anyway? Then let's turn it off. Too much tension for such an experiment. For now, we'll just turn it off. Yes, look, it's burnt here. Here it is. The high voltage output looks so intimidating. The third transformer is removed and directly connected to the wire. In the next episode, we will launch high voltage right into the toilet. Begin to torment the toilet. I wonder if it will explode or not. And also we will unleash a high voltage arc directly into the sea. Let's see how the waves will glow.